we have a really good episode for you today. We're going to cover a couple important points, and I'm going to show you a really weird thing that I've noticed uh, lately, at least with the stocks that I have. I'm not sure if you've experienced this or seen this as well, um, but we're going to start today with opening day. Well, actually, no, we'll, we'll hold off on that today. So um, specifically today, I want to show you something that was really weird that I've seen over the last, gosh, couple weeks. So we'll take a look at a, a month, and we see this really weird, jaggedy chart. Now, if you compare it to like three months ago, this is kind of what you expect, right? I mean, you're going to have a little bit ups and downs. You'll have a trend line going up um, or a trend line going down. So let's take a look at a year. So you'll see a flat trend line, a positive trend line. Um, and then let's take a look and see if we have anything earlier. Yeah, a downtrend, flat trend, a little uptrend, big uptrend, right? But what I've noticed over the last few weeks, we get this. There's no way you can put a trend line to that. I mean, I could sit here and draw a line from here to here, but that's not a trend line. Uh, there has to be a trend for it to be a trend line. But we see these days where it goes up a little bit, craters, recovers, and breaks even. It goes stick, shoots way up, down, up, down, up, down. This one is a really weird day. And it was followed by the same thing, down, up, down, up. And then we had a little bit normal day today, and then or yesterday, and then I think it was Friday, and then giant up, shoots down, starts to recover. So really weird thing. And I've noticed the last I don't know last couple of weeks, it'll basically go. I'll have basically it'll start here and generally go kind of a little bit up, craters way down, and then comes back up. You know, and then maybe it catches up, maybe it goes above where it was, usually it breaks even. And we see the same thing here. It goes way up. So we were up, you know, five grand or whatever. It wasn't way up, but up five grand. It goes all the way down to basically break even, it goes up, down, up, down, up. And it's just the it's so weird. And I can't really figure it out. I can't tell you why it is. But what I've started to figure out is, all right, it generally happens around the same time of day. It happens around 8, 8 or 9 o'clock in the morning Pacific time, which is you know 11 o'clock if you're on the East Coast. So I'm like, all right, as long as I can get into my stocks at, let's say, 7.30, wait until we see the big dip goes all the way down and try to buy that dip. Um, that's what we're going to try to do. So specifically, when we go into the buys, which we'll talk about next, uh, that's kind of what we're looking for. Now, this one is basically on a on an overall portfolio performance. Um, but we do that when we look at our buys here and our sells here. So specifically over the last couple days, um, AHT, so we'll pull that up here real quick. Ashford Hospitality Trust. And this is the sister stock of Bremer Resorts, which has been just on fire. Um, but what I've noticed here is, we'll take a look at over the last year, had one massive spike of a day where it went up to 17.30. But overall, let's just let's just say we erase all of this over here. You kind of have a very flat. It's not that it's negative necessarily. I don't mind that because you'll buy it low. It's just not a lot of upside. I mean, you had one crazy day, 17.30, and then now we're down at like three bucks, a buck 36, 2.59, etc. So this one just literally looks like a hiccup. Like if this is your EKG. It's like this is your like irregular heartbeat, right? And so I was thinking, okay, well, I don't really see a whole lot of upside in this. So we're going to try to like get out of this stock and um, we're going to try to get out of this stock and invest the money someplace else. So specifically, I had a, I put in a um, limit order and put it up to 290. So it basically was sitting down here. 270, 280. I was like, all right, if it hits 290, we'll get it. And so a couple days ago, it hit 290 right around right here, a little bit over 290, and then it cratered back down to 280. It's been sitting at 290 basically right now. So um, that was one of the moves we made. And then we'll do FTFT. And this one, I was, I'd like to say that I was like proud of myself, well done. I knew what I was doing, but it was a little bit of a glitch. Um, but I'll take the glitch. So future fintech, Chinese uh, blockchain company, and 
so the same thing, this is part of my Biden stocks. So we'll go down, or not Biden stocks, this is my other stocks. Is it future fin? No, it's my crypto, I take it back. It's my crypto stock. So take a look at that. And this one's just had massive upside, but it's been, you know, kind of re uh, retreats to where it used to be. So 1017 down to five bucks, up to 650 down to five bucks, 630. And I was like, all right, well, if we can get it, we can get it up to five, uh, 760, then we'll do that as well. So we put in a limit order sale for seven bucks and it spiked today. Take a look. All right, so we see a big spike here, right here. I had it at seven bucks. You know, it was sitting at 621. Basically got up to 761. So top of the market sold. And then what happened after we sold it today? Right when it was at seven, well, it got up to eight, crashed down, and now it's sitting at 557. So, um, yeah, excellent decision. Love to say I take credit for it. Not really. I wish I did, but I don't. Um, but that was one of the things that freed up some money for us and allows us to have some reinvestment money. So specifically, um, had some money. I was going to talk about uh, a pending order that I added today for that. And then we still have 10 grand uh, to play with. So specifically, I was looking at <clears throat> uh, movement for the day, my favorite stat that I look at. And let's see. Pretty much every the top ones that did really well were stocks that I owned. Dogecoin's up and down. I'm not really too caring about that. I'm just looking to see if it goes down. If it gets under fifty cent, five cents, then I'll probably buy it. Um, Fang did pretty decent today. A whole lot of like you know one standard deviation performances today, and then Tex Hospitality dropped fifteen percent, and Future FinTech dropped ten, but we didn't. We weren't really part of much of it. I sold half of my future fintech stock. I kept the other half. So the other half absorbed the 10, but the, the one first half we have did not. Um, so then I was looking at, and so and there's nothing really jumped out here. So then I was looking at overall performance and everything's in sync. I'm looking at the reds. Everything's in single digits, nine, zero, eight, nine, 40. That's Fubo. We're going to leave that one, let one ride. Four, six, three, uh, 13 for Penn National Gaming, that one's going to come back up. 8 for Variant, and negative 30 for Skills, which I'm telling you, this stock is going to jump. So mark my words, write down the day. I've, I'm going to talk about in other videos too, but um, so I was like, negative 30. I got some money to play with, and it's a good stock. I only put $4,000 in it. Oh, man, that's an automatic. So I went ahead, and it's sitting here at 1880. I don't really care how much it's going to drop if it drops. I want to get this order filled. So 1875, 225 shares. Um, basically, we'll add another 4,000. So what we looked at here was when we look at the 1875 buy price and the old one of 27, when we combine this order to this one, it gives us a uh, cost basis of 2190. And we're already sitting at 1880. So if we did 2190... It would drop this down, I was pointing with my finger, from 30% down to 14%. It would literally have it. So and that's a beautiful thing. So we did that today. Uh, we'll see what that, hopefully that, that fills overnight or in the morning. We'll take a look and see what that does. Um, so with that being said, let's move that. All right. So um, talk about Major League Baseball today. So Major League Baseball opened up today. <clears throat> um I have a 20-game plan with the Padres. They won today. By the time you're watching this, you should have known that. Um, really, really exciting game. They had, uh, what was it, 10,000 people, which is basically 25%. Um, basically, everybody that has an 81-game plan and a 40-game plan got first dibs on tickets. And then I was, like, right behind it, right? But I never got an email for the game, so that means that you know, they have at least, at least 10,000 half and full season games. So, I mean, that's insane for the Padres. So hopefully I'll get to a game soon. I was watching it on a, um, what is it? A sports bet, or not a sports betting. Um, what do you want to call those? 
uh, like a bookie site, like a sports betting site where they basically they, they'll take the stream and they'll show it in all the in all the um, sports books like in Vegas. So I found a site. Basically, you had to you had to have it outside the United States, but I have a VPN and I moved my um, IP IP address to the Netherlands, and so I was able to watch the end of that game. So that was pretty cool. But te- the reason I bring it up is Texas had a hundred percent occupancy like i don't know how many people have shown up for the game but they said anybody that comes to the game you can come in um and that pairs right into our coronavirus things so out here in california uh we got moved from the purple tier to the red tier just missed the orange tier next tuesday we're going to probably be in the orange tier um that means 50 percent restaurants indoor gyms things like that get to open up but it's really obvious that the spike is over i mean anybody that says you know, you have the CDC director that said, oh my gosh, I'm petrified. Or what did she said? She, she said, I feel impending doom. And she's like practically crying on TV. And by the way, I was thinking, you're way over your head um, for your job. If you're the CDC director, the numbers are cratering. Everything is good news. And you go on a Zoom call and say, I'm crying because it's imp- there's impending doom. Like, you know, if the captain of the ship is telling everybody that you're going to go down and, and the ship's sinking... You don't have a whole lot of uh, faith in the captain. So that's cases by day. Uh, deaths are pretty much nothing. I mean, they're lower than probably they've ever been the entire time. Um, testing really isn't happening because people are doing the vaccine instead. And our percent, and our positive percentage is the lowest it's ever been in the history of this entire chart. So that is a really, really good thing. So what I would say, the big picture that you want to look at, again, we approach the stock market not with technicals. We don't look at resistance and support. I don't even really know what that means for the most part. Um, I'm, I, I really don't. I have friends that do, and I think I kind of maybe know, but I'm not really sure. Um, I would definitely not put money on my ability to tell you what that is. Um, but we approach it from street smarts, so looking at it from, you know, how do you look at it with common, not only common sense, but like how do you take advantage of dumb people? And that's what I mean by street smarts. Like, if people are willing to, to part with their money, let them. You know, if these people are selling stocks that are just pretty much guaranteed to go up, let them. Um, so specifically stocks we're going to talk about right now. I mean, they're the, we'll look at looking to buy the um, area. But I mean, anything with travel stocks, they're going to explode. Entertainment, especially movie theaters, they're going to explode. Remember all the big movies that are coming out? Um, oil stocks, you know, if Biden is basically trying to shut down everything, it's just going to increase the price of oil. So if you own oil stocks, life is good. And don't think for a minute that I'm not debating whether to add uh, target hospitality now that it's dropped 15%. So um, I might be doing that after hours today. Um, casino stocks are going to go crazy, whether it's online betting or actually in betting. And I was actually looking at FanDuel um, but they don't have legalized online betting here in California, so maybe I can do a VPN. Yeah, maybe I could do that. Maybe I could do a VPN and just put my IP address someplace else. Um, so I don't know if they look at it by the IP address or the address you register. Presuming you have to put an address in when you register. But these stocks, if you think the, the, these are good numbers, these are going to explode. This number is going to be pathetic and disappointing compared to the numbers that are going to come out. Um, so with that being said... I don't mind the Biden stocks. You want to take advantage of electric vehicles and things like that, especially charging stations. And those are the two that I have right here. Um, But as far as others, Corsair Gaming, Fubo, Fubo is pretty good. Um, Next idea is a cybersecurity one. That one just, you know, I think it's a good stock overall. Um, Signet Jewelers, don't even get me started on this. I really wish I invested way more money. And no, I didn't invest $450. I sold most of my big gains. Um... But that being said, I really wish I would have invested a lot more with that one. Um, Skills is going to be good and Varen's going to be good. But overall, um, the ones that are just no-brainers, you're stealing money from a baby. Um, Anybody, you know, we're looking at street smarts and understanding these people are really stupid and they don't really know what's going on. They don't know how things work in the real world. Well, that's how we're making this much money. So big picture right now, we're sitting at 158000 um, that pays for law school right there, but we're also having money for a beach house or, man, I don't know what else we might do, but we're going to have something up there. And to give you an idea, if you're new to this video, new to this channel, um, <clears throat> I am 
pacing right now, we are pacing to be somewhere around 280,000. We've made 60% of the money that we're anticipating making. Um, we went through a little bit of a dry spell recently, but when Biden says, and this is the other thing, I said this back in March, so you can look at my first videos on this channel. When somebody says we're gonna spend two and a half trillion dollars on infrastructure, which by the way, don't listen to politicians. When a politician said something, you know, you know how you know you're, they're lying? Their lips are moving. Very little of that is actually infrastructure. But when you start to add that much money out there, um, number one, it's going to drive inflation up, which means the cost of everything is going up, which means if you buy stock, let's say I'm going to throw a round number. If you buy it at 10 bucks and all of a sudden inflation kicks in and now your stock's worth 30, you tripled your money. But if you get in before the inflation, this is what you need to realize. This is what no financial planner is going to tell you. If you get in before the inflation, all the inflation does is make what you own more valuable. Let me repeat that. If you get in after inflation, let's say you have 100 bucks under your bed, inflation is going to make that 100 bucks worth less. It's going to be worth 50, 70, 30, whatever it is, right? But if you buy stocks under before the inflation hits and it's worth 100 bucks, it's going to cost 200 bucks to buy the same stock because your money's not going to be worth as much. So you're going to double your money. So in a sense, you're protecting your, it's like a hedge against inflation, but realistically, you're just making a crap load of money. And the thing is, the more money that you put in early, okay, the more money that you put in early and you get in early, the more money you're going to make on the back end. So nobody else talks about this. This is, this is what really, really smart people, we're not talking about the nerds on Wall Street, but people who get it, people who understand the game, how schemes happen, how to get over on people. I grew up with that. You understand what's going to happen when they start telling you one thing. There's a lot of propaganda out there, but when you start to ask questions and, and think about it, you realize, holy crap, this is free money being passed out. So you've heard it today. Watch early my videos. I talked about the same thing a year ago. Um, and let's go make some money. To get more information on the sales cheat code, go ahead and click on the subscribe button below. Also down below in the video description, you know, down there, there's a link that takes you to our website that gives you additional content, some additional freebies that we have, and gives you information on some programs that we have that have been proven to help people to make sales easy so that you can make the kind of money you want, live the lifestyle that you've always wanted, and not have to struggle in the process. And what might be the coolest thing of all, is you don't have to put much effort into it. It truly is a cheat code that most people don't know about. And it's a cheat code that can change your life today. So click on the link below and let me help you start to experience these results starting right now.
To get more information on the sales cheat code, go ahead and click on the subscribe button below. Also down below in the video description, you know, down there, there's a link that takes you to our website. It gives you additional content, some additional freebies that we have, and gives you information on some programs that we have that have been proven to help people to make sales easy so that you can make the kind of money you want, live the lifestyle that you've always wanted, and not have to struggle in the process. And what might be the coolest thing of all is you don't have to put much effort into it. It truly is a cheat code that most people don't know about. And it's a cheat code that can change your life today. So click on the link below and let me help you start to experience these results starting right now.